dive into it. And I'll be obviously keeping this guy here. And let's copy this and paste it below. And let's put this with ellipses. I hope I wrote it correct. Put the color in as blue or maybe yellow. I don't know. Put it in like this. So uh, what I'll be doing is basically I'll be deleting this all, right? Delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, and so on and so forth. So what I'll be doing, I'll be going to curve primitive and I'll grab an, an ellipse. So it's going to be my plane. However, I wanted to create the change the origin of this point, right? So if I an XYZ point and add this to group but let's move it up like I don't know 150 here where is my point oh I have to put it into X actually so they're still too close to one another maybe somewhere here yeah so I can put it in as well and if i create some ellipses on top of this circle which i started to see right super small so what i can put here is i don't know 150 by that's a bit large but that's fine and 50 something like this or maybe increase this a bit first I mean it's completely up to you you can put any value that you think it works and the next thing that I'll be doing I'll be obviously rotating these guys right connecting the number of ellipses connecting the geometry here and what we see is this time this right and you see it's a bit like we need to make it a bit fatter I think and we get to this point so obviously it's it's okay but it's again sort of super thin or slim so one why don't we make it some a bit like thicker as such okay it looks fine for now but one thing that i want to add here is to add the value of the scale so if i want to scale this guys by changing it making it smaller to larger what i need to do is I need to say, okay, I want to scale these geometries from their centers, which I already have, but let's use their, uh, okay, we can use these frames to scale, right? The factor is going to be defined by us again. So let's say I wanted to range between the scale of 1.5 to 0 0.5. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting 1.5 and 0 0.5. But this may not be super helpful for me. So let's do something like this, okay? So what I'll be doing, I'll be subtracting this one from this one to create a series with this deficit, right? So if I create, create a series, how many numbers that I'll be having in this series is going to be the same? So why I don't have this here, I'll be using the list length as my count and this value is going to be where I wanted to start right because I want to start this at this point and end this at 1.5 and to do so I need to divide right I need a division I need to div divide division I need to use division to like divide this value to this guy and each and every of them is going to be incre increased by this but where I wanted to start is this guy I need to start this and this is my stat value so I'll be starting to increase my scale from 0 0.7 and then I will be adding for each and every ellipse 0 0.008 until it gets to it gets to 1.5 right so if i connect check my math it's almost there so if i connect this to my cent my factor 
And if I put this in as my curves, you see, it's created something as such here. And the reason it's coming over here, because it starts with big value and connects with a smaller value. I mean, there are ways as we've done in the previous one as by using the duplicate component, we can create something a bit more fluid, but you can use the scale to scale things up and or down even in this fashion. And or if you don't want this, obviously you can always use this. So that is pretty much, uh, well, that is, let me go back to my Rhino screen, sorry. That is pretty much it for this set, this uh, playlist. We have these two now. I don't know if they show. Yeah, these two now. And we covered the series, how we can use numbers, how we can use uh, series to create geometries, visualizations, and so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this playlist, please take a look at the other playlists. And if you like the content, please subscribe and like the videos. Have a nice day.